Hi, today I'm reviewing the Ordinary's new product, which is EUK134.01. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money. So you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchases. So this is a new product from The Ordinary. It sells for, I believe it's $8.60. And this is the full size, which is one ounce. And uh, EUK is short for, um, it's the title of an extremely long molecule, which I probably will not even try to attempt to um, pronounce it. I'm not good with pronunciations in general, so I'm definitely not gonna try to pronounce that. But apparently it's been around for a while, but it's just not commonly used and it can be a very strong antioxidant and also a more expensive antioxidant. And the product of the Ordinaries has this in a very high concentration, um, more than most other products will use in it. And the nice thing is, that they've protected it from um, air and it's got a opaque bottle so it's also protected from light. Um, almost all antioxidants begin to degrade when they're exposed to light and air. So they've done a great job with their packaging of this. I absolutely love it. And then their price, given the fact that it's kind of a more expensive product, an antioxidant, that they've still made it affordable for everyone else is very nice. Um, so let me give you a little swatch of it. It's new from The Ordinary, and they're always coming out with some different things. And they kind of allow you to create your own skincare regimen with their products. Their products don't include a lot of other um, ingredients. They tend to just kind of include what they're selling you. And this, I think, just has a few ingredients as well. Um, so it's not really an oil and not really a water product but if you can kind of look it's got a different consistency it's kind of strange and it takes quite a while to absorb um, that's my only issue with it but it definitely is a nice um, antioxidant I've been using it now for a while and I've definitely noticed um, some thinning of fine lines and also a little bit of an improvement in hyperpigmentation. And the key with this product is you don't want to use it with any other acids um, because those can cause an interaction. So you definitely, so you definitely want to be careful when you're using this. Um, I use this on top of my First Aid Beauty Ultra Hydrating Serum. I use that immediately after washing my face in the morning. And then I've been using this product. And then afterwards, I've been using, mixing in the um, Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Cream on top of it and then a primer. Definitely don't want to be mixing any other acids with this. You don't want to be using salicylic acid or um, I try to avoid retinol usage at the same time of it just because that can kind of give skin kind of an overload and sometimes end up drying it out. Um, alpha lipoic acid, you don't want to be using that at the same time of this either. Definitely want to be careful because a lot of these products can kind of counteract with each other and you don't want that going on. I've, gosh, one time I apply, I think it was the alpha lipoic acid, I think it was salicylic acid um, within a couple minutes of each other and that hurt. So you didn't make that mistake once and you will not make it again. So. Um, but it's, they've got a lot of science behind this product or this ingredient and a lot of other skincare companies aren't using it. So this is a nice chance to give this a try, um, picking up from the ordinary and also at an affordable price as well. So, um, the issue with the texture, I, you know, I can't really use this at night because I use my other acids at night and you don't want to definitely mix those. But sometimes in the morning it just doesn't absorb quite well. It's just, it's a different consistency. It just doesn't quite mesh well with a lot of other products. But the antioxidant and everything is good for your skin. So taking all those factors into account, I'm going to give this product a one thumb up. And I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet. 
Uh, what are your thoughts on it? And also, have you picked up anything from The Ordinary yet? I just love that their products are affordable. Um, it's great for people that love skincare and love taking care of their skin, but don't want to spend $100 on a product that's full of antioxidants in combination with fragrances and other unnecessary ingredients. So leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And also feel free to subscribe. I come with at least one new review every day. Thank you guys.